Hello, hello. Let's see if this works. Hello, glad to see somebody showing up.
Hello, got somebody showing up. What I'm doing is basically making a pendant piece. A diacroic pendant piece. Just making something simple. Sometimes simple is better. Hey, Craig. Yes, yeah, something simple. It's going to be a diacro pendant. See, look at the. Uh, of course, it's not going to focus in. There it went. How'd the turtle come out? Uh, the turtle came out pretty nice, Kevin. I uh, put it in the oven and I turned it on. So I can't take it out at this point and show it to you. Sorry about that, folks. But maybe tomorrow. If you're really nice, and I think about it before I get it to you, uh, uh, before I, but I should be able to open up the kiln and tomorrow morning and look inside and take care of things. Oh, what is it about? I get an itch on the end of my nose every time when I get right in the middle of something. Yes, I burnt my hand. It's okay. It may hurt a little bit, but not a lot. people watching wow that's cool but yeah I just made a simple simple pendant here I'll show you I got to fire polish that little tip at the bottom come on focus simple but effective it does the job gotta make sure this thing doesn't start warming up again Yesterday, the camera started warming up. Couldn't figure out why, but it was new to me, so I didn't know for sure. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think of something else great to do, but I can't think of it at the moment. Yeah, let's try this and try something. Mm -hmm. Hi Maria. Any chance of fish? Uh, I could try to do a fish. Dolphin? A um, shark? Um, let me think. Dolphin, shark. Uh, let's see, what else, Maria? Uh, to do just a regular type of fish. Let's do a shark. Simple, but effective. Baby shark to do, to do. Oh, I've got to stop it before I start it. Never mind. A regular fish be that way well I'm just starting so it's not like I've 
committed myself at any point. Okay, regular fish it is. Let's see what we can do. First of all, we're... I'll just do one. Oh, there they are. Just basically put some some pattern for the fish skin type looking stuff. Hi Lila. Good to see you out there. Well it's it's up to you. It's simple if you want to get simple you can do a really simple fish. The one that I do um, my basic one, I guess you could say, is, uh, it's half done as it is, believe it or not. First, uh, these are going to be the front pins, and I still have to put the eyes on it. The body is basically a teardrop flattened a little bit. And if you happen to have a diamond cut file, you can use that to give it the texture of, um, of uh, scales, if you know what I mean. You press it in there a little bit and boom, you got, you got some diamond cut, you got some scale pattern going on. This is basically going to be the big nose or big mouth. Oh, it on the end of my nose still. What's going on? And the eyes. I'm going to give it some silver fume after the fact, which should give it a nice coloring after the fact too. Uh oh. Let me check. Well, no, they're about right. One eye and the other eye are about to cross from each other, which is good. You don't know how hard it is to do that sometimes. There's the fish kiss mouth. Hey, Tina. Then um, the top pin basically is, now this is what I call my fold and pull, where I pull it out, fold it over, pull it out, pull it over. I know I should call it a pull, pull and fold, but it sounds better to say fold and pull. And that gives you your basic fin, your basic wing, your basic tail to a horse your basic whatever you want to make it into it's your once you gain the, the the pattern or understand the principle it goes so much easier now to switch sides now usually this side I call the pencil and this side I call the paper and the reason I call it that is I usually use my right hand for the pencil part and the left hand for the paper part and you're still working the two hands together but mostly I add to the paper with the pencil is what I call it which gives you an understanding of why I keep switching sides from time to time yes the paper become, can become the pencil and the pencil become the paper but it's still a matter of holding on to it and working the glass. And again, once you understand the principle of this basic pin that I just showed you, basic pin, basic whatever you want to make it into, it helps.
This is sort of like a little guppy type fish. Now I'm going to heat up these two and clear them out a little bit. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now we're going to see if I can't find a little bit of silver to fume with. Never around when you want it, of course. Ah, here it is. The one piece I need. On this piece of glass is a little chunk of silver. I don't know if you can see it or not. There it is. And now just by adjusting the flame out like that very not very sharp this is where you bathe the silver in the flame and the silver sort of atomizes and sprays over to the other piece and there we go Simple and effective. Yeah, it's on the move. Uh, what he's talking about the package is, I uh, shipped him off some glass just yesterday, this morning. Surprisingly, it got off and going quite nicely. Yes, I sell this stuff. Yes. If somebody's interested in something, just ask. I can try to see what I can do. Puming is a wonderful thing. You can use gold and you can use silver. And I use silver 99% of the time. I do have a little bit of gold that I play with from time to time. But uh, most of the time it's just silver because it's a lot cheaper to play with. Uh, but there are, and the gold comes out more of a pink and gold luster. I have a YouTube channel and if you want me to, uh, in my, in the comments, I'll try to put um, a link to my YouTube video of me showing gold and silver fuming. Uh, and it's the simple fumings. There are people who got fuming down to a science that's unbelievable where they can get colors that are so amazing out of, out of the glass. Most of the colors I get are just yellow and gold and sil uh, pink and gold luster. But there are people out there that can get gold to turn reds and blue, you know, all different colors. And also the silver, they can get that to turn nice blues and greens and yellows and a few other colors. Me, basic simple colors at this point. But just because it's eluded me so far doesn't mean that it will elude me forever. Um, with that, uh, I'm going to show you that little fish one more time. And I'm going to call this little episode over with, and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, thanks for being out there. As always, Carpe Vitro, and what I mean by that is just like... Carpe diem means seize the day. Carpe vitro means seize the glass. So thanks for being out there. And always enjoy your day. Bye. Of course the button's not going to push.